You're saying I can't also play if I'm hosting? Ah, I have to miss one. That's not the coolest. Hello, everybody. They didn't tell me that. I am Ben Glebe. I am a stand up comedian and I host the game show Idiot Test on Game Show Network. But right now I'm guest hosting the HQ. Very excited. I'm a player and I've never won, so I figured I may as well go on the inside. Uh, I do not know why it's called HQ. Everybody keeps asking me that. I'm new here. I'm afraid to ask. Hi, hi questions? I don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, I was asked on Twitter by somebody named at New J Forex. Nuj? Nuj Fricks? I don't know. You need a simpler handle, to be honest with you. Nuj, Nuj for, Forks asked me, how does HQ make enough money to afford giving so much money away? Nobody knows, Nude Forks. It's like, how was Tommy Wiseau able to pay $5 million to make the room? Total, total mystery. Maybe, maybe it was drug money. Nobody knows that. I'm, not, I'm just guessing. It's a theory of my own personal theory. Don't know the man. But I'm ready to get some of you some money that you can make things mysteriously on your own with. Maybe let's get all of you paid today. It's a bad idea now that I think about it because if you all won, you, you'd make very little money. You would really, you would owe us money. So let's get a small, nice group of you to win. This is the HQ, the live trivia game on your phone where you answer tough questions to win very real money. Let me run down the rules very quickly. I'm gonna ask you 12 questions, ranging from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer on your screen. Get it right, you move on to the next round. Make it to the end, you win or split the cash. And today's cash prize is $1,500. That's American money, that's good around the world. It's globally accepted. If nobody wins, the cash rolls over to the next game. But I'm only here this once, so win for me, okay, please. We have over 280,000 people in the game right now, including Z Crazy Master. Oh, come on, really? You're master of what, Z? Car Hill, just sounds like you got car troubles. Thugga, and Dave. See, it's a nice normal name, Dave, I'm proud of you. I'm getting antsy to do it. Can we start this thing already? We can? Let's do it. Question one. When snow covers a large area, what is it called? Ice lollies, accumulation, or sediment? Ice lollies, accumulation, or sediment? Take your time. You've got two seconds. Your time is up. Did you lock in? Ice lollies, maybe it's, it's a lollipop made of ice? Sounds tasty. I do not know. I didn't look it up. But the answer, if there is enough snow to make snowballs and chuck them at your neighbor's kids, which you also, you should not do that because you don't know these kids. It could be a lawsuit. If you have enough snow for that though, you have some accumulation and 20, 265,629 of you got that right. That's a lot of you. So we're gonna keep moving. You ready for question two? Some Apple devices feature which kind of display? Retina, Retson, or retention? Retention, Retson, or retina. Those are your choices. Some Apple devices feature which kind of display? You don't have an iPhone. You're not watching this right now, so I don't care about you at all. You're not my favorite people if you don't have an iPhone. Okay? Time is up now. Your time has run out. Did you touch Retson? That's that stuff in mints, bro. You're totally wrong. It's retina. That is the answer. Retina is the brand name Apple uses for their fancy displays. 248,259 of you got that right. A ton of you still in the game, that's exciting. Maybe at the end of this, you'll win enough money to put a payment towards your own iPhone. You can get the iPhone X, which does the very, very creepy face scan. It's too minority report, man. Like we don't need to scan our entire face to open our phone. Let me just warn you, if you walk into a room and there are bald people laying in jelly with nodes on their heads, you run. You run fast. It's time for question three. Which of these standardized tests is not administered by the college board? AP, SAT, or ACT? Not administered by the college board. That's the name of the company. What'd you answer? Did you lock in? Did you touch ACT? Is that what you think the answer is? Oh, I'm sorry to tell you. You're right, that is correct. I'm not sorry, I'm very happy for you. I support people. The ACT is administered by a company called, you guessed it, ACT. That's the name of the company. It's a nonprofit specializes in giving people who don't do well on the SATs 
a second chance at life. So that's, you know, it's exciting. I took the SATs and did not take the ACTs. I should have taken both. I didn't do great. I'm not a, of the highest intelligence. I like trivia. Not, not a damn genius. I just do my best in life. Much like probably a lot of you. 73,000 of you are only moving on. That was a very tough question. 73,000 of you only got that right. We're narrowing it down. It's time for question four. What is the main ingredient in birch beer? Birch roots, birch bark, or birch leaves? I know I just said birch too, mark, too much, too mark. The word birch messed my brain up. My brain is now broken. You've locked in. Birch beer, it's an alcohol-related question, so I like it just on principle. But birch beer, if you know it at all, if you ever looked at the ingredients, it is primarily made from birch sap, which wasn't a choice, and birch bark. Sounds disgusting, but you might have gotten it right. 28,468 of you knew your birch beer ingredients. They boil the bark in water. It releases essential oils into the beer, and people drink that because we will do anything to get a buzz on. That's humanity for you right there. We're getting it narrowed down just four questions deep. Only 28,000 left. It's question five. Which one of these is not a Baltic country? Belarus, Latvia, or Lithuania? Belarus, Latvia, or Lithuania? Which one's not Baltic? I know a lot of you are like, oh, I know which countries are Baltic, but which one's not? Then you should know the answer. The three former Soviet states in Northeastern Europe that are known as Baltic countries are Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. So Belarus would have been the correct answer. It is not a Baltic country. 15,008 of you got that correct. It was Estonia, not Belarus. If you missed that, you, you stone, yeah? I feel you. I feel you, dog. I'm not always sober. I have my moments. You're doing good. We're narrowing it down. 15,000 of you still alive. Let's keep moving. Which composer opposes Skrillex in YouTube's popular Epic Rap Battles of History series? Who battled against Skrillex in an Epic Rap Battle? Historically speaking, well, you know, in that series. Not historically speaking, but like in that series. Did you lock in? Did you touch Beethoven? Ah, oh, you're probably feeling dumb about that because the answer is Mozart. Mozart rocked harder than Skrillex when he was five years old. Yeah, pretty easy to believe that. Brilliant classical composer versus dude with laptop. That's obvious. 6,549 of you got that right. You're still in the game. We're narrowing it down, but you guys are doing very well. It's exciting. Skrillex uh, also could use a haircut, in my opinion. You know, I get it, but you look very vampire-esque. Kind of Tommy Wiseau like yourself. You're a vampire-looking dude. I like your music, but like, you know, have, buy a mirror. Look in it once in a while. It's time for question seven. What U.S. president with military experience came into office with the lowest rank? Andrew Johnson, James Buchanan, or James K. Polk? Which U.S. president with military experience had the lowest rank during his military service? Did you lock in? Did you not touch Polk because you don't even know how to say Polk? I'm not sure. Is it Polk? Is it Polk? I think it's a silent L, but why have it there? It's an interesting question. Andrew Johnson, that's another president's name. Not the correct one in this case. James Buchanan is the answer. 2,593 of you got it right. We are whittling this down. Buchanan was a low-ranking private, served in the Pennsylvania militia Back in 1814, Johnson was a brigadier general and Polk a colonel, considered by many people the worst president of all time. Why? What makes you the worst president? Uh, he was indifferent on the Civil War, did not take a side on that issue. Slavery, generally, you have an opinion, whether you're pro or against. I think most people of good conscience should be against slavery. thought that was an established issue, but judging on our politics now, you don't know. Maybe that's up for grabs again, but definitely should not have an opinion on you know, slavery when you're the president. It's an issue you should probs weigh in on, bro. I think it's time to move on to question number eight. Which of these is not another name for a tsunami? Seismic wave, shock wave, 
or harbor wave. Seismic wave, shock wave, or harbor wave. Lock in your answer now. Did you guys touch harbor wave? You think to yourself, never heard a tsunami referred to as a harbor wave? Then you don't watch the weather channel as much as I do. I'm addicted to it. Often stoned, watching the weather. I got a lot of time on my hands. But the correct answer, not a name for a tsunami, is a shock wave. A shock wave is the answer we're going for there. 1,324 of you got that right. We are narrowing it down even further. You see, a shock wave is, as you should have known, you're probably kicking yourself for this, is a strong pressure wave in air, water, or in a solid. And uh, I, I feel bad you didn't know it. Technically, even a tidal wave is only correct because it's become common to call a tsunami a tidal wave, but a tidal wave is just a wave that is affected by the tides. And that's so many waves. So it's got nothing to do, honestly, with a tsunami. And let's respect the wave, okay? Respect a tsunami for its power. Don't use an everyday term like tidal wave for it. Uh, before we go on to question nine, I'm curious about you and your life. I'm curious. It's a holiday season. We all have a lot of nerves and tension around that. The world's a little crazy right now. What are you least looking forward to during the holidays? I'll give you a second to answer in the chat. What are you least looking forward to in this holiday season? I want to know. Have you responded in the comments? If you didn't, swipe them away. Because it's hard to respond if you did. All right, I'm about to go to question nine now. I just wanted a little moment between us. Is that cool? Question nine. In what film did Al Pacino and Robert De Niro first appear on screen together? The Godfather Part Two, Goodfellas, or Heat? First time Pacino and De Niro appeared on screen together. Did you lock in? If you didn't, you're out of the game and you're probably kicking yourself because you got distracted or you had an itch on your face and you will look down and it's too late now. But if you pressed heat on your screen, you would be correct and you would be part of an exclusive group of just 411 people that are still left in the game. 913 got limited right there and I just hit a light. I hit a, I'm so angry that you're out of the game. I miss you already. Uh, in Godfather 2, De Niro and Pacino are both in the movie, but not in the same scene ever. It took until, oh, we're in heat now, sitting in a cafe. I'll put you down without hesitating. Obviously, you got a family, okay? You got a family. I won't even pause a second. I'll put you down. My De Niro is clearly worse than my Pacino, and I'm very sorry you had to go through that. Uh, the answer to my holiday question from before, what you're not looking forward to for the holidays, Samantha is not looking forward to her sister. So hopefully she's not playing right now. That would be hurtful. Anthony is not looking forward to paying his bills. No one is. Why do they time all these bills with the holidays? It's a cruel trick played on us by God, maybe. I don't know. No one knows the answer to that. And Tom is not looking forward to cleaning. Well, Tom, to get yourself someone who will clean for you, I suppose. It's time to move on. To question 10, which one of these was not one of Baskin Robbins' original 31 flavors? Date nut, cotton candy, or eggnog? Three solid choices right there. Date nut, cotton candy, or eggnog? Did you lock it in? Are you unsure because you weren't alive maybe when Baskin Robbins started? 